Hello everybody, it's Michelle Cahill with Pet Portrait Fun and today we're going to be drawing a little doggy. Uh, his name is Orange and it was from a customer that um, since we're all confined to our apartments in the city, um, little Orange, we're going to be doing him virtually. So we're going to be sending this as a do-it-yourself kit. What I do is I draw your pet for you. You send me a, a picture, then I do a little drawing, you trace it, there's a little bit of carbon paper underneath and then you walk through, I go to walk you through on how to do the watercolors. I have your basic um, watercolor set that you get at any stationery store and um, we're ready to start. So the first thing I always tell people to do is take uh, a little bit of water and drip with a paper towel a few drops into each one of your uh, watercolors because you don't know which, sorry I dropped my paper towel. <coughs> And uh, you just squeeze a few paper t uh, drops of your paper towel in there. That's going to be used as your eraser. So then you get your paintbrush, and we're going to start. So this little guy, he's got white in the middle, and he's got gray around the sides. So to get the gray, I'm going to start with the gray first. Do a little bit around the eyes. I make put a little bit of water. I add a little bit of this navy in there too. Water's going to be like your white. The lighter you want something, you're going to use. Uh, more water. So it, there's white in the palette, but I wouldn't uh, use that. I don't recommend using the, the watercolor white paint. I know it's it sounds counterintuitive, but the any white part of your uh, painting of your dog is going to be the um, the paper. So I'm filling in all that that gray around his eyes. This is just a little bit of the navy, a little bit of the black, and a lot of water. So I just kind of fill that whole section in. I've left a little triangle for the, the white in his eyes because I like to leave a little, little bit of a pop of uh, white. And like I said, so see how it's kind of dripping there? That's where you have your paper towel. You just kind of like, you just dab it a little bit. Painting watercolor up sideways like this is a, a little bit more difficult because the uh, gravity. So I'm just making sure that I have control of my brush by not having too much. See how that pulled right there? I'm just going to kind of pull that out a little bit and just go around a little bit. And leave the eyes for a little bit later, but right now I'm just focused on all the gray. So we've got this gray. And see, I traced all these lines from my illustration out with the graphite um, it went on to this is just watercolor paper I have taped up here. So we're going to go all around his little muzzle. It's kind of like a doggy mustache. So I kind of use that same gray to fill up. This is like the under layer of the gray. It goes all the way in all these sections. He's got a little gray around here too. So I'm going to just take that same gray and pull that in there. So in the white, there's different kinds of shadows in the white. There's it's like a little bit blue in there. So I'm going to kind of take take like a little bit this this uh, lighter blue. You don't want him to look like he's uh, in the middle of a pool. So I take a teeny bit of that gray that I did. A lot of see how it's kind of really like adding a lot of water because you just want to tint. I'm tinting this shadow right here of the white. So so I'm going to let that, it looks pretty blue, but I'm just going to like leave it for a second. Let it kind of stain the paper, I call it. And then we go in there. And this kind of blue, we're going to pull around a little bit around the his face here because his, his little nose is in the shadow. So anyway, now I'm going to go back into the dark spots. I'm going to take some of that gray and I'm going to fill in the dark areas, his nose, around his eyes. Adding a little bit more of the black. I'm going to take a little bit of the water out of my brush by just rubbing it across the um, paper towel. So where are we at? So just kind of filling in around here a little bit. Just a little bit dark. Not full black just yet. It's still kind of, it's got, it's lighter because you want to build up. You don't want to go hard on your black. So I'm just wiping off a little bit of the excess. That's a good color. So now we just got it on there. I'm not going to use that same color in, in the eyes. Even that little piece of, again, you want, the more control is the less water is on your brush. So I'm going to go and leave that little piece of white in the eye. And I'm going to go back over it. Let that, the gray around it is still a little wet. So in watercolor, you kind of want to let the area, areas get dry first before you, because then it starts to bleed. But it's okay, if it, it does start to bleed, you just take your paper towel and just kind of dab it. Paper towel is your friend. So, okay. Now, the back of his mouth is pretty dark, too. So I'm just going to kind of go back in there. 
So now I want to do, I want to go into, um, let's do all around his feet and everything. He's got orange on his chest as well. And it's kind of funny because that's what his name is, orange. We were supposed to do this painting out at Fifth Hammer Brewery back in October. And uh, it got canceled for some reason. I can't remember why. But um, we're all stuck at home now, quarantined. So thought this would be a great time for everybody to uh, paint their pet from home. So you can join me and um, I can paint your pet with you, um, you know, step by step like this. Or you can just watch like you're doing now. So I just mixed a few, the, there's a few oranges in here. There's yellows, light oranges, dark oranges. Notice I kind of have fun. I got to mix them all together. And I keep dipping it into the water because you don't want your brush to get too dry. You have to keep, that's how you, you cut, blend it in here before you actually put it on there. So you can see what it looks like. I usually say put it on a, like a white plate or something. For this, I just put a white piece of paper behind it so you guys can see it, okay? All right, so I'm putting oranges, little orange um his harness on there sometimes people ask me to to take the harness off you know from the drawing that's fine too but i thought it was appropriate because his name was orange to have his little orange he's an orange man just like all our syracuse people that's where i went to school so go cues all right so now i'm going to fill in all this this dark gray around the bottom and i'm adding some blue to it so it's almost going to take some of kind of what i did in his ears and add a little bit more blue for the, the shadows in the in the um, cement around here. With the white, I said, like, I'm leaving the white as the paper. And I'm just going to go up and around a little bit. I'm going to add a little more blue to give it. I'm, a, I'm actually adding a few blues. Because you can give it some color, some depth. Because it's cement and it has all different kinds of blues and stuff in it. So that's a kind of a cool color. This is pretty dark around here because that's where the shadows are. So try not to touch that orange because I don't want it to bleed. And I'm doing it. If I do it with you one on one, I'll do it a little bit slower. But I want to just make it a little bit uh, quicker so you guys can see how it comes together. So, and I'm just going to add a lot more water, fill in the whole area around him. Do do do. Yeah. This little guy is over in. This photo is from taken in Brooklyn, and he's looking over to Manhattan, where I am. Right, I'm going to do the sky behind him. So I'm going to go up to the edge of the sky. I'm going to do that little bit of green, like, um, whatever, hay. I don't know what that was. But I'm going to just do a little bit. So that was, that was a little too dark of blue. So this would be a perfect example of taking either your wet paper towel or clean off your brush and just take that paint that I already did and just drag it over there. Just see how they just kind of hold that darkness with a little bit of water. And like I said, you could always, if it starts to like go like that, you just take your paper towel. It makes it all nice, perfect. So, I'm, I'm not going to do the uh, buildings. That's the Empire State Building in the background. I'm just going to pretend that's not there. But in the actual, the drawing I, I did for the customer, I added the buildings in because it's more fun. It makes it more personalized. But it's up to you. I always say, you know, I'll make it as difficult or as easy for you as possible because I want to make sure everybody has fun. So now I'm going to go into these trees that are on the side here. Yeah. Again, there's like three different uh, greens. And I kind of like mix them all. And if it's too, like, too fakey green, just add a little bit of brown. Dirty it up. Make it a little, a little more natural. The brown is over here in the palette. There, that's a little bit darker. But it just makes it a little more natural. And I'm going right up to doggy. I'm going to use that same green on the other side too. So I got them up here. You know, when you're doing the, the vegetation and stuff, you can really have fun. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. You know, like Bob Ross. I, I love Bob Ross. Oh, happy little accidents. A happy little tree. Yeah, a happy little hay or whatever that is. It's in some park in Brooklyn. I don't know where that was. But, so, it's got to be directly across the East River. So it's snowing outside or raining and slushy, so everybody's stuck inside. Not only because we're quarantined, but it's also not the pleasantest weather outside right now. So it's easier to be quarantined when it's nasty outside. So I'm going to take some of that orange and like kind of put it in some of this vegetation over here. See, I'm not touching the, the green just yet because I, I don't want it to, to blend just yet. I'll let it dry a little bit. See how I just added a little bit of water and I lightened that up? 
to make it look more like hay. And this is good because you got the orange in here and you got to use that same color and it kind of, I'm going to use the same orange over the, on this side too. Looks like a little bit of fall on the side over here. Now we're going to go into his tongue. Now the tongue is like a little bit of red with a lot of water. So I just go on, and the, his tongue is pretty dark in here, so you can mix it with a little bit of brown or something to dirty it up. I put that black in before, so it's kind of, it's making the tongue a little bit less pinky, like he ate a popsicle or something. That's what I always tell people. There. And now I'm going to go back in and go into the eyes, the dark around the eyes. This is where I call it the doggy mascara. So the, the black is pretty gooey right now. I want to make sure my, my uh, paintbrush is dry. See how I just kind of, and I'm making a point. So make this mascara, doggy mascara, over his eyes a little bit like that. I want to fill it around here a little bit. Make that, that dark pupil. This should be the darkest part of the pupil. And I still left that little piece of eye, that little white, I mean, a little shine, a little pop. I'll do it on the same on the other side. And I'll go in because there's, it's got like these eyebrows, They're pretty cute. And you go in here like that. And same thing with the nostrils. He's, I always tell everybody, the, it's like the two curls. Everyone does them like a dot first, but I'm like, no, it's, it's a full curl. The dog's nose is a curl. And a line down the middle. And up around the side. Boop. Okay, and then a few whiskers. You can see how I'm doing it a little bit dry. He's got a few little blacky whiskers here. And this is kind of, see how my brush is dry? This is good for, for when you want to like make like details. Let, let him go. You don't have to go over. But this is where you could just trace over where you drew before. You can f see the, the lines that you drew before. And I'm kind of using that dry, gooey black to kind of go get some of his fur. Yeah. Maybe a little, little orange. Little orange man. <laughs> I don't know if, he, if they went to Syracuse or not. But the doggy's name is Orange. Okay. So now I want to do a little bit more of shadowing. His white around his um, his mouth. I'm gonna do that, that kind of bluish again. Just kind of make that kind of fall back a little bit. Go in there. Right underneath his chin. I just want the chin to pop out. See, I'm gonna leave that chin white, and then kind of come down around here. A little bit of shadow. Remember, leave the white for his fur. And you can go in there and like do some details like this with, to make, just to show that it's fur. This is a really light wash. Just kind of little free furs. And his little chinny chin chin. Yeah. And now I'm going to finish up doing some of that green. Finish up this. You see, now this dried up, and I'm just going to kind of reactivate it, putting a lot of water. See how I just, and I just blend that out. Yeah, just like that. Same on the other side. This has got dried up, so I'm just adding some water and just boop. That, like it's this red. The background's where you can have a lot of fun with the with the paint. So, and now back to this little section. We're gonna do the greens. Have fun with this different looks like different browns and stuff in here. Pull that, and I'm gonna pull back in. And now you can kind of like pull the greens down into your light. There you go. And now on the other side. I'm just going to make it green to match this on the other side. It's like a bush here. And then you can have fun with all the different colors. And you don't have to make it look like the photograph. You can always, some people just make it a real fun pump purple or pink in the background or whatever. Your, I always say, what's your favorite color? If people don't know what they want to do. But this has like a nice little scene in it. So I said, why not keep this? Add some some details, some dirt. So there's my little orange. Now there's it got a little stain like that at the end. I was can, can you could just take a little bit of uh just that was just water on my brush and I'm just kinda dragging that down a little bit. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more gray. I'm just going to take some of that gray from his nose and just kind of drag that around. Fill him in there. In there. A 
Okay. And I'll just do a few details on this foliage in the background. And there's my little pups, pups. Orange the pup from Brooklyn. Ta-da! So if you want me to do a painting of your uh, pets, just email me a photo of your pet uh, at petportraitfun.com. And I will put together a, a drawing just like this, uh, like I did of orange. And um, I'll send you this with all the art materials that you need. And um, we can do it, it, a nice uh, paint your pet by Zoom, private for you. And um, we can enjoy these, this uh, quarantine all together and have a good time inside. Anyway, thanks for so much and happy pet painting. Bye-bye. <laughs>